Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to discuss a signature from George Santos and reveal some handwriting characteristics of a pathological liar. Newsweek reported that George Santos used a fraudulent signature. George Santos' relevant past behavior include lying about where he went to high school, college, Wall Street, funding of an animal charity. He also swindled money using a, the dead dog of a disabled veteran. It is unclear whether he is married or not. He apparently divorced a woman a couple of years back. He lied about his mother's death happening on 9-11. She wasn't even in the U.S. His grandmother was a Holocaust survivor, not true either. That he lost four employees in the Pulse Bar shooting. And that he was Jewish. All these lies are demonstrably false. And the list goes on. He even claimed to be a movie producer appeared on the Hannah Montana show and was in a movie with Uma Thurman that Uma Thurman was not even in. And this all shows relevant past behavior and is indicative, indicative of the, his mindset and therefore also future behavioral choices. A Brazilian clerk was defrauded by George Santos. That is not allegedly. That is true, and he admitted to it. Here is the signature of George Santos on the document containing his confession. This was reported by CNN. Now let's have a look at his signature. Slow writing means caution, planning. That is an individual who takes more time to think. And with it comes a loss of spontaneity. More time to think suggests someone whose primary mode of operation is reasoning. We also see a varying baseline in the signature, especially in the first name. The varying baseline implies adaptability also a potential for moodiness. The very well baseline is mostly in the mid-zone structures, and therefore it suggests he is able to adapt to the needs and whims of others. At point one, we see the downstroke in the G of George is bent backwards. And that suggests he is aware that certain decisions he makes are not socially acceptable. We also see tight letter spacing at point two. These letters are cramped up. And that suggests he is not moving forward spontaneously. He is holding back. Oversized capitals are often indicative of misplaced overconfidence. And that is typically compensation for feeling worthless, being without an identity. We see in the O's and in the A's uh, loop structures. The loops on top of the O's and A's mean a need for reassurance regarding their thought processes. After all, the loop occurs after an upstroke, and upstrokes are linked to thought processes. Therefore, the writer is unsure about what to think. And these loops in the upper structure are interpreted as, quote unquote, indecisiveness. I don't know what to think and how to interpret it. When that is done in excess, upper zone muddiness in the O implies amoral thought processes. Interestingly, this is often labeled as lying and in excess pathological lying. And this may indeed be true, but that is not the true meaning. 
muddied upper zone structures here in the top portion of the O basically means muddied thought processes with the potential for amorality. We have another person that we know very well, O.J. Simpson, that muddies the upper structure of the O. The top of the upper zone structures in the S and in the G are turned. And these people, again, it is muddying of an upper zone structure, muddy thought processes. These people literally twist reality to fit their narrative. We have another uh, famous individual that twists the tops of their upper structure. And of course, that is Donald Trump. Now, when we look how the A and the D body uh, are formed, we see an unusual way of formation. It starts with a clockwise stroke from, from the top and then goes down at one, then at two, the body is shaped clockwise, and then the clockwise structure continues to form a complete loop just to make the stem that is highly counterintuitive and unusual. Unconventional and non-conforming formation of letters, any letter that is, suggests a non-conforming mindset these people uh, march to their own drummer, to their own beat. This is especially important in the letter D because that is the morality letter. So when we combine the slow writing, meaning lack of spontaneity, planning, caution, more time to think, with one, twisting reality to fit your own narrative, two, knowing that decisions you make are potentially socially unacceptable. Three, muddying of social norms in the top portion of the A and the O. Four, marching to your own beat because of the odd formation in the body of the A and the D. And in the letter D, it implies amorality. Then we see a combination of hand characteristics that match relevant past behavior. George Santos is a pathological liar. His handwriting and behavior match. The real question is, how did that develop that way? <laughs>